Marty in the book. I always laugh when I say Marty because it's like everybody should assume who Marty is. Um, Martin. And Martin said just the other day, instead of goes, only two people call me Martin. My mother and Jack Nicholson. I'm like, oh, I'm never calling him Martin. I guess Mark Wahlberg brought, found, I could be wrong, he found a nonfiction piece called Boardwalk Empire based on Atlantic City in 1920. Uh, or, or yes, I, the, the book itself covers the history of Atlantic City, but the part that we were interested in, it was 1920. And uh, he and his partner, Steve Levinson, I believe, brought it to Marty. Marty and Mark brought it to HBO. Um, and HBO incorporated Terry Winter, who had already been doing business with Marty, had written a couple of films in the last year for him. And then Terry brought me in, and HBO brought me in, um, thankfully. Um, and uh, that's sort of how it started. Uh, it's been a real learning process because the times I've spent in the room with Marty and, and Terry and I being there, you get a real window into his thought process. He's very open about talking about the way he does things, why he's done them, and he's completely informed by his knowledge of film history. And so very often he'd have us watching, he'd say, you know, come over to the office, we're going to watch uh, two movies. And you go, oh, man, so, you know, you're running to the office. And you get there, and in this office, in a screening room with a projection and you know, a projectionist and a projector and six big comfortable chairs, curtains go apart, you're watching great print of whatever. You know what I mean? And he would then continue to comment on the film. As it was going? Sometimes, very often as it yeah. was going. And then when it ended, and you'd go, you'd, you'd, the obvious films that relate to this, this piece are obvi for obvious reasons, but then we'd watch, like, some came running. And you'd go, well, we're making a gangster show, why are we watching this? And he would always say, you know, you, they, they, in this movie, you would say, you know, in this picture, uh, there is the, 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 the carnival scene at night. We'd like to capture the spirit of the carnival scene at night. And you go, Oh, he's right. Yeah, it is. It is. It absolutely is remarkable, that scene. And also the spirit of the energy of something. The energy of that movie, for example, the opening frame with Frank Sinatra sleeping on the bus and you and that Elmer Bernstein score and like you felt like, oh, something's going to happen, you know? I mean, all of it. I mean, and nuances, incredibly subtle nuances. Detailed. And I guess, you know, if you link all these people together, all of them, I find that they're all incredibly detail-oriented. All the Davids. And Steven. Michael, Stephen, Tom. I mean, all of them. They're all incredibly detail-oriented, you know? But both with performances and the script, production design. Um, so anyway, we had this great ex sort of experience with Marty. And, um, and, and he would, we, like we'd watched Sam Fuller's um, Park Row. Um, which doesn't have necessarily anything to do with gangsters, but it has to do with the spirit of how that guy made that movie for no money in nine days and the way he constructed it and the shots. And, and Marty himself would say, you know, you see that shot? That shot's in Goodfellas. Or, you know, you see that shot? That inspired that shot. And you just go, oh, yeah, of course it did. Of course it did.